Thankfully, we're not seeing that threat today, yeah. but we are expecting storms later on this afternoon. Though here's a live look at downtown Orlando where you're seeing just some puffy cumulus clouds out there thanks to the higher humidity and the daytime heating. And speaking of the heating, we are all in the upper 80s at this point, even some 90s there. 90 right now in St. Cloud, 88 right now in Orlando and currently 91 in the villages. So our first warning radar is not really tracking any rain in central Florida at the moment. We just have this teeny tiny shower that's in the northern portions of Marion County, but that coverage will continue to increase as we go into late this afternoon. Here's like around two to three o'clock an isolated pop up or two. And then as we go into around five, six o'clock, we're expecting a late afternoon, early evening collision, but it's going to favor areas more west of I-4. Notice the Orlando Metro, including Seminole, Orange, as well as Osceola County, going to see an isolated shower or thunderstorm or two, but nothing as widespread as what we saw yesterday afternoon. Then as we go into the late this evening around eight, nine o'clock, you see those showers and thunderstorms do wrap up pretty quickly, and that's all thanks to some drier air that's sitting over us right now. That's limiting how widespread those thunderstorms will be later on this afternoon. Looking at for tomorrow morning, it's going to be warm and muggy start. We'll be in the mid 70s. Now highs tomorrow, though, will be climbing into the mid to pushing even upper 90s. We could be nearing records in some locations, including in Orlando, two degrees shy of the record tomorrow, as well as in Sanford. We're about one degree shy of the record tomorrow, two degrees shy in Leesburg. So tomorrow will be another sizzling hot summer day with lower rain chances once again. Here's a look ahead at tomorrow morning, starting off pretty quiet, bright sunshine all across the board by two to three o'clock. We'll get a couple pop up showers, thunderstorms there. Rain coverage tomorrow on the higher side out towards the west. So very much like today, the highest rain coverage in the storms will be west of the Orlando Metro, and it looks like tomorrow's sea breeze collision will be pretty late in the evening around seven to eight o'clock versus around five to six o'clock, which is normally when we see it. So rain coverage on the lower side today and tomorrow starting to creep up, though, as we go into Friday and into the upcoming weekend and there's a reason why looking at it for the upcoming weekend. It is going to be a sizzling hot week. You can notice by five o'clock rain chances really increasing here across the board and that will be the case on Sunday as well as we're watching a tropical wave that's really going to bring us some increasing moisture. So that's what's going to enhance our showers and thunderstorms early next week and that's why we have it at around a 70% chance of rain on Sunday and Monday and then dropping it slightly to 60% on Tuesday of